<laughs> yeah, I told him go back and take it out on the off chance that uh, <laughs> the tide's going to get him. You got an eight footer. Huh? Eight yeah, but I think that stays above it. Does it? Yeah. Otherwise, you wouldn't have all that grass on it. You got grass growing on it. Right. See how dry it is out in the middle? I told him to, he was on this side. I told him run it right up to the beach as high as he could. He was just getting air out there. <laughs> Tomorrow at noon, we have a minus tide, a good one. Okay. Almost three feet less water than was today. Yeah. I told him to leave the keys in. If it doesn't go underwater, I can come up here tomorrow about probably 10, 3, 11. I should be able to drive it off. Right. Yeah, see, right up here, it just, it's just a drop off. <laughs> Guy calls me back, he goes, I've got a FEMA computer. <laughs> I said, I'd grab it. <laughs> do it. Do it when you work. Grab it. Oh, I don't know. We got a five foot drop off right here. This is deep. If you want to grab this guy's computer when he gets there, I'll hold on to the jet ski, okay? You're five foot of water right here, Doug. We're going to, we're going to help him get off. Always a happy ending. We're heading up back to Ledbetter Point to try and get the vehicle off of that sandbar. I brought a designated swimmer, Rick. You ready to get wet, Rick? Not really. <laughs> uh, I just, Rick's going to be driving uh, my wrecker back or my truck back, and my plan is I should be able to drive that rig off the beach. I got my boots, I got a shovel, I got a jumper box, so we're gonna go up there and hopefully if it didn't go underwater last night, we'll be fine. If it went underwater, then what I'm gonna have to do is see if I can't rent a skiff, a scow, some planks and come alongs and I'll go up there and put planks down and come along it up onto a scow. And I've done that before. You just have to wait till the tide goes out and you spot the scow in front of the car and then you put planks down and jack it up onto the you know, winch it up onto the uh, scow. I had, it's been 15 years, 20 years since I'd done that, but we, that's, the, that's the last option. If we have to do it that way, and then we bring the car around and we use the boat hoist to lift it off the, off the, uh, off the scow. But that's the worst case scenario. I'm hoping we're not gonna have to do that. We're heading up back to Ledbetter Point to try and get the vehicle off of that sandbar. I brought a designated swimmer, Rick. <laughs> you ready to get wet, Rick? Not really. <laughs> uh, I just, Rick's gonna be driving uh, my wrecker back or my truck back. And my plan is I should be able to drive that rig off the beach. I got my boots, I got a shovel, I got a jumper box. So we're gonna go up there and hopefully if it didn't go underwater last night, we'll be fine. If it went underwater, then what I'm gonna have to do is see if I can't rent a skiff, a scow, some planks and come alongs and I'll go up there and put planks down and come along it up onto a scow and I've done that before you just have to wait till the tide goes out and you spot the scow in front of the 
car and then you put planks down and jack it up onto the you know winch it up onto the uh, scow I had it's been 15 years 20 years since I'd done that but we that's the, that's the last option if we have to do it that way and then we bring the car around and we use the boat hoist to lift it off the off the uh, off the scow but that's the worst case scenario I'm hoping we're not gonna have to do that well we're just now coming around the end of lead better and I'm hoping that that rig didn't go underwater if it did then it's gonna be game over there's a oh it's sitting high and dry look at that sitting high and dry sitting up on a great big knoll life is good but now we got to figure out where is our hard stuff oh, where's this guy well I don't know what he's doing but I'm looking for hard stuff to drive on here and this should be hard stuff right here this looks relatively hard right here well I walked that channel I can't get through it I got some stakes up but that's not going to do it so I'm going to have to backtrack and see if I can't find another way out there this isn't going to do it so I'm going to have to find another way out there it looks like I might have to go out there on that far spit but I'm not sure if I can get across the channels there I just don't know where he crossed that uh, there's no obvious finger of land here I've got a couple to the north of me I'm going to go walk out there and check them out We're heading up for part two of the rescue of that Jeep. I've got, I got, <laughs> yeah, you get on there. I got Fritz and Kenny Wagger. They're gonna, we're gonna go up there and look at it, see what kind of uh, beach we've got to deal with on that island. And then tomorrow we'll come up with a scow or two we can't pull it off. We're just now coming around to the east side of the island where the Jeep is at. We're now on the east side of the island. Uh, this morning, the videos I was taking were trying to walk out there. I was on the west side of that island, and we're hoping we can get up to the beach. It's supposed to be a sheer drop off of water right up on the edge of the island. To the back side or beach? I, I think probably stay on this east side. He said the back side gets really shallow, and it's shallow. I mean, it's just when the tide went out, it was just mud everywhere. But he said this side here, it, it's just all water. You better off staying on this side of it, away from the ocean. There's some breakers right there. How much water you got? 10 feet. Now you see, it's kind of like on, on that, the other side of the island, right at the end of Ledbetter, at the point. It's like a four foot drop off in the water on, on this side. But everything on the on the west side is all beach. Here my camera's at home. Mm -hmm. My camera's at home. I got a cell phone, but this is quite the deal. I'm just hoping that beach is hard. If the beach is hard, I'm gonna drive it right over. There shouldn't be any ghost strip on that, because I don't think the ghost strip will stay on dry sand like that. They like those hummocks with water all around them. Yeah. How much water you got now? I just said it's shallow. Mm -hmm. now, when the, the bow starts coming up, it gets shallow. This is what's nice on the incoming tide. Get a little mud right there. It's like a channel running right there, doesn't it?
That's pretty good size island building up right there. You gotta figure it looks like it's about a about a half mile long. How much water you got now? Five and a half feet. Water and a half. We'll just get into that point Look where his tracks are, where he drove around the island. See him? <laughs> oh, he he just is driving all around that. Well, he's probably panicking. Oh yeah, he think. You see his tracks where he drove around? <laughs> I see that. Yeah, he was driving around that island. He got you kept thinking there gotta be some place to get off that island. <laughs> the longer he's out there, the more he's gonna panic. Yeah. Gotta, you know, and and I'll tell you what, panic for good cause. <laughs> How much water you got there? Now just south of the island where the Jeep is at. That's Grass Island. That's back there about two miles south of us. And where I tried to walk out earlier today is just in front of us right there. I, I tried to walk out there but I couldn't find all I found was channels. I couldn't find any way out there. We're just checking right now to see where we're gonna spot a scout tomorrow morning. Still looking for a spot where we're going to bring that scow in. Oh, they're in there. No. Hmm? Look where his tracks are at. Ken's walking up to it. He's going to jump start it, make sure we're running. And at that point, we'll come up tomorrow and we'll probably be able to bring the scow right up to the beach right here, put the ramp down, and drive it down here. As long as it runs, we should be fine. Well, Kenny walked out. He said it started, but the front end is damaged. Uh, looks like he might have hit something with the front end of it. Need a hand? No, walk to this side. Hmm?